Illustrator, just the basics of getting started, opening the program, and uh, saving and the selection tool. So first thing we'll do is jump into our little uh, stack and go to Adobe Illustrator to open that up. And we're just going to do a file and a new to just get started. We'll, don't worry about the settings, we'll just click OK. And when you first open up Illustrator, a couple things that you'll see. First off, uh, you'll see this white box area. Don't worry about that, that's just the printable area. Um, the tool that we're going to focus on is just this selection tool. Um, to use that selection tool, you just click on it. Or if you hover over any of these tools, they'll tell you what its name is and the little hotkey um, in parentheses, so if you like using hotkeys. Uh, so to move anything around, this is basically a tool to move objects. I need to get a rectangle or something so I can move it around. <clears throat> and now if I come over back to the selection tool, I can move this thing around, select it, deselect it. Uh, if I go from one of the corners or the sides, I can stretch that around. If you go out to one of the corners up close and get these little curvy arrows, you can actually rotate objects and that kind of thing. Press delete to get rid of them again uh, and that's just a quick way to use the selection tool uh, in here. When you're ready to save just go to file and save or save as either one will work and name this as something and make sure if you only get this amount of information always be aware of where you're saving files open it back up and you can come over here, maybe I want to say this to the desktop or the documents, you could save it there and then click save. This is just some other settings, just click OK and that's how you would save something. We're using the zoom and zoom out uh, with the hand and also with the hand tool. So we're going to jump into Illustrator and in Illustrator uh, there's many ways to zoom in and zoom out. First off, you can use this tool right here, which is a magnifying glass, to click uh, and zoom in and zoom out. Or if you want to use the hotkeys, um, you can also do the hotkeys too. Uh, and the hotkeys, if you hold down the spacebar command, that allows you to zoom in. If you hold down the spacebar command and alt, it'll give you a little negative, and then you can zoom out. Uh, along with those, if you just hold down the space bar, that'll give you a way to use the hand tool to pan around uh, and everything. So space bar, Apple to zoom in, space bar, command and alt to zoom out, and just space bar just to use the hand tool. So that's a great way. If you don't want to use this tool over here, there's some other ways too. Uh, your other option is going into window and using the navigator and in there you can zoom in and out using that tool as well moving that around so it's kind of whatever you feel like using to group and arrange object objects so inside of illustrator uh, sometimes you need to take items and rearrange them or group more than one piece so I'm going to go ahead and just try and make a checkerboard. So if I take this and duplicate it by holding down the Alt Option key, and just place that in there. And then if I want to go ahead and group those two, because right now when I click on one, it just selects one of them. So if I want to just select both of those by click holding and dragging. And then if I right mouse click, I can do an arrange or not in a range, but I can do a group. And now wherever I select those, I can group those together. So now I can go ahead and duplicate both of those and keep going and duplicating. And I think I'll just group those again so I don't have to worry about uh, that. So if I just, once again, select all of them by click, holding, and dragging with my left mouse down right mouse click on it and go to group now those are all one piece select those and arrange those 
and then go ahead and duplicate those. Once again, I'm just holding down the Alt key to duplicate those. And that will give me a nice little checkerboard that I can work with. And I think the last thing I want to do with this is just put change all the other colors of the boxes. So I could go in and try and put a bunch of boxes, but instead of doing that, I'm going to go ahead and make a box and just put it behind everything. So if I I don't want it to be yellow, so I'm going to double click to change my color. And then go ahead and flip that on there. And then it's in front, so I just need to get it behind there. So click on it, right mouse click to arrange, and make sure you send it to the back. And now I have my little checkerboard working for me. This tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the align tool with shapes. So we'll just dive right in and create a brand new document. <clears throat> And uh, I'm just going to show you how to create a, a bullseye using these tools. So I'm going to come down here to the ellipse tool. Uh, you just got to click and hold, <clears throat> or the hotkey for that is L. And to create a bullseye, let me just change some colors because I don't want to deal with that color. And start off with a big circle, and then draw a slightly smaller circle, slightly smaller until I create certain amount <clears throat> and then I want to just change each of those colors slightly or just have every other one to be a different color so I'll select one change the color or if you wanted to you could also click on one hold down shift and grab another one and choose change two at the same time so to, I could eyeball this and try and make a little bit of a target but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use the align tool so I'll select those all together. You have to have two or more objects to use the Align tool. And if you go to Window and Align, select that and that should pop up this little guy down here, although I do have it up here along my status bar too. And if I just choose the right combination, that should align it for me and that will give me a little target to work with. So it's a really easy way to align things however you wanted to, to make whatever logo uh, you wanted to. So now we're going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool in Illustrator. So to do that, we we'll just go ahead and open up that document we're just working with. <clears throat> and um, I'm going to show you how to use the Pathfinder tool to create some Olympic rings. So if I just come in and just grab one circle and to create um, another ring, just either duplicate or just create a s one slightly smaller. And then if I <clears throat> select both those and align those, so select both those and align those using the line tool. And to the, do the Olympic rings, the reason why I need to use the Pathfinder tool because if I start duplicating here, I need to be able to see through those. So in order for that to happen, um, I need to select both of those. Once I select both of them, uh, right next to the Pathfinder, or go to Window and Pathfinder there, you can pull that up and just start experimenting. Uh, if you just start clicking, and if that didn't do what I want to do, just press uh, Command-Z to undo that. Um, I'm going to try the next one, and that one, I believe, did what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> so it cut through there, and now I have some rings that I can deal with. So I could come here and just uh, duplicate those so I don't have to do it over and over just to make some simple uh, Olympic rings. So that's the Pathfinder tool. <clears throat> I can come in there and change colors of each of those to whatever they really are. But the Pathfinder grit tool is a great tool to basically cut it cookie cut objects and make um, some simple little logos just out of uh, what you're working on there. That's the Pathfinder tool. <clears throat>